Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can improve your breathing uh, biomechanics and develop uh, your breathing awareness. It doesn't matter what kind of uh, breathing exercise you usually do. This is the basic exercise, localized breathing, which helps you to be more aware of the directions of your breathing and improves your biomechanics breathing pattern. I recommend doing this exercise either before or after different types of breathing like for example Wim Hof's uh, breathing exercise but you can also do it before sleep or in the afternoon when you have 5 or 10 minutes to relax or when you finish some physical activity and that way you can relax the body faster. Localized breathing exercise will set you on the path of understanding of how to work with your diaphragm and then how to actively use it. It is perfect for everyone, whether you are an athlete, a coach or a person who likes to work on oneself. So let's learn it together. Find yourself a comfortable mat or you can do it in the bed too. Watch your neck and head. If your chin tilts up too much, put a pillow under your head. Both your neck and head should be in one line with your back as well as your lower back. That's why you should also make sure to eliminate any gap between the mat and your lower back here. For better execution, it is necessary to simply bend your knees. Breathe easily in and out through your nose. Place your palms below your ribs and breathe into this belly area. Breathe in and out for three times. The next step is to put your hands along the sides of your body with palms up. Nice. Start to breathe into your chest. Chest breathing is an incorrect stereotype. However, in order to train your breathing awareness, it's good to breathe there for a while. If you experience stressful situations uh, during the day, your breathing automatically shifts into the chest area. And if this stereotype lasts too long, you can overload your neck muscles nape and it causes incorrect body posture. So just a few breaths in and out and then back to your belly area and continue with breathing lightly, slowly with all your attention on breathing. I'm going to put my hands on my brother's belly and he should breathe in and out into my palms. We'll do it three times, but you can try doing it uh, at home up to 10 times. After this, I'm going to change the position of my palms and I place them on his sides, between his ribs and pelvic bone. Now I'm going to ask him to direct the breathing into my palms and so to the sides of his stomach area. Very well. The next position of my palms will go to the lower back area here. Simply focus on the hands, curl your fingers underneath and breathe there, like this. On this. These variations are the most useful for you to improve your breathing stereotypes. You can do it with your hand. A good advice is to not be so strict with yourself and be more playful. If you feel playful, you can try breathing into different parts of your body. Go easy and focus. For example, breathe into your shoulder, just to do one side or under your belly area here. Be creative. If you want to know more about breathing biomechanics, check out our 
physio workshops and retreats in the link below. If you have any questions, you can write them below the video. I hope you like the video and if so, you can subscribe to our channel to never miss another interesting tips about the diaphragm, activation before training or breathing and much more. Did you know you can improve your core stabilization with proper activation of intra-abdominal pressure? No? Watch this video. Have a good day. See you next time.